What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. ESPN personality Stephen A. Smith is currently in negotiation with ESPN for his next contract. Now, it had been erroneously reported several months later that ESPN and Stephen A. had already agreed to a new contract, but that was not the case. He is still reportedly in negotiation. Now, there has never been a uh, confirmed amount as far as what Stephen A. is seeking, but it's been rumored to be somewhere or maybe a little over $100 million in total. And Stephen A. Smith believes he is worth every bit of that. As a matter of fact, in a recent interview with Chris Wallace, he compared himself to Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak, uh, Dak Prescott and actually threw Dak Prescott under the bus, saying that in his respective field, Stephen A. Smith's, he has delivered where Dak Prescott has not, saying, quote, I'm not getting specific as it pertains to numbers because only a fool discusses his own negotiations while negotiating. I would ask respectfully, pay attention to the industry and see what people are getting paid. See how much money they're making and what they're bringing to the table. Dak Prescott, just signed a contract for $240 million. He's making $60 million a year. He has won two playoff games in eight years. I've been number one for 12. I'm sorry. In all respective industries, I win. And I'm fully aware of what I'm worth, and I will never apologize to that for anybody. Well, you could have done that. You could have said all that without throwing another brother on the bus. I mean, but that's what you do. You know, you, you profess to be this, this champion for, you know what I'm saying? other brothers in the industry and brothers in the sports world, the athletes, but the history shows that your rhetoric is nothing but that rhetoric, baseless rhetoric. Whenever anybody else, like for instance, when Dana White, slapped his wife multiple times on camera for the whole world to see. You clasp your hands together, lowered your voice, and made excuse after excuse for your good buddy, Dana White. But anybody else, especially someone that looks like you, you, you tell the cameras to put the camera on, the camera to put the camera on you. And you go into one of your rants. I mean, hell, you're more triggered by a brother smoking weed than allegations against Vince McMahon and James Dolan, which you conveniently don't talk about on your own platform, but you'll do 18 Diddy videos a day. You got Marvin Lewis fired. And more relevant to this video, you constantly pocket watch brothers. With Dak Prescott, first of all, the, the, the fact that you're comparing what you do to Dak Prescott is ridiculous. Dak, Pre Dak Prescott literally puts his life on the line. Even though all the rule changes in, in, in football. We saw the other day where a football player collapsed after a play. I think, I, uh, I think I got hit or something. 
football players risk their health, their health, and to an extent, risk their lives every day out there on the field. Definitely risk their health. We see that with how a lot of these football players after their careers are struggling health-wise. You just get on TV and talk loud. What you do is leave the journalism in the world. It's not. You, you just go on there and just basically use your bully pulpit to pick on people who don't kiss your ass or you know what I'm saying? Make up fake sources. You know what I'm saying? These these sources that you never have disclosed, which is really just your opinion. And you just use your power to hurt people, man. For the most part. You the same dude that said, you don't want to make an enemy out of me. Look what you did to Kyrie Irving. Please. That's not journalism, what you do, bro. Not anymore. You used to be a journalist, but now you just a loud talking Negro on TV. And most of your coworkers can't stand you, according to reports, that is, allegedly. They can't stand you. They're getting tired of you. I haven't seen Monica McNutt yet back on ESPN. At least I haven't seen her since she told you the truth to your face. You know what I'm saying? And look, you're talking about you doing all this winning. You've been winning for 12 years. Okay, it's not just you. It's my it's my it's Molly Karam up there. The first couple of years of that first of that 12 year Skip Bayless was there. Then you got the fake Skip Bayless that replaced him. You got Shannon Sharp there part time. You got all these other people, all these other personalities. It's not just you. Your personality is, is not that enriching. I don't think people turn on first take to say, hey man, I gotta see what Steven ain't gotta say about this. Not really. Matter of fact, I don't know about anybody else that's listening to this, but for the most part, whenever I do tune in, listen to what Stephen A's got to say, it's usually to see how much, how many jigs you're going to cut. Watch this. Man, watch, watch Stephen A's. Got nothing to say about, but watch, he got nothing to say about Jerry Jones. Watch this. I told you, crickets. That's what most of us do. And by the way, you told all this winning, right? Okay. How many Emmys you won? How many Emmys have you won? Because, you know, what, what, what's, what's killing me is when you bring up that Prescott salary, by the way, everybody knows you hate the Cowboys. And you, and you got a, a hair up your nose, a, a hair up your ass, I should say, about when it comes to Dak Prescott. I mean, I don't get it. But anyway, you say he only won two playoff games in eight years. Okay, football is a team sport. A football player, no matter how great they are, cannot affect the outcome of a game as much as a basketball player can. A basketball player, a great basketball player, is one of 10 guys out there playing on a 94 foot court, right? What is it, 94 foot by 48 feet, something like that? But anyway, let's just go 94 foot long court. There's one great basketball player. Michael Jordan could influence the game more than Dak Prescott can. You're talking about one of... How many guys are there on the, on, on the field in the football? Is it 18? With both teams? 20? I, I forget. I think it's 18 or something. But anyway, he's one... But far more people out there, I don't watch football no more, y'all. So I'm, my football knowledge is limited. But I do know that it's one of many guys out there on a 100-yard long field. So he only affects the game, but so much. And he's played and performed very well. 
what have you won? You're you you're much more influential, right? Why haven't you won an Emmy, Stephen A? How many Pulitzer Prizes have you won? Come on, man. And you insinuating that you should be making what? 70 million a year? Either you insinuating that you should be making more than Dak Prescott or Dak Prescott should be making less. But that's what, that's what you do, man. You, you pocket watch. This brother's making such and such and he ain't getting it done. Sad, man. It's sad. Sad. What are Aaron Rodgers doing this year? Do a clown. 